Hi, I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, we'd like to thank you all for tuning in from no matter wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. We're just so glad to have you take your time to hang out with us for a little bit. So this video is called, uh, this is my new segment, my top five segment that I've added. Uh, not only do we have Black Dragon Biker News, we have the Biker News Network, we have... Uh, uh, Ask Black Dragon, and we have Black Dragon Biker TV, and now we have the top five things lists. So this video is called the top five things you should know or the top five things to know about law enforcement motorcycle clubs before you decide to join one. And it comes from one of my fans, this email that got me to thinking about writing this topic. Hey, Black Dragon, he says, I'm a big fan of your channel. I'm hoping you have the time to answer a question for me. One question that I haven't been able to find, if you have answered it already, deals with law enforcement motorcycle clubs, also known as LEMCs. What's your take on them? I'm getting a lot of mixed signals researching them. Currently, I am a member of a riding association, but I have been having thoughts about joining an actual MC one day. There aren't really any 99% clubs around my area that I've been able to find, but I keep seeing LEMC members riding around. When I look them up, there are lots of articles about how they say they operate like traditional clubs, but traditional clubs don't have cops. I'm an 11 year US Army military police veteran and about to start a new job as a correctional officer so I thought LEMCs might be a good route to look into. Do LEMCs really get a bad rep in the biker community? Well, uh, when you speak of traditional motorcycle clubs, you really cannot say that traditional MCs don't take cops. Traditional MCs were the first MCs and many of them did take cops as that would never have been a problem for our traditional MC. It wasn't until the advent of one percenter nations that there really became this split between the way traditional MCs did things and other kinds of MC organizations did things. And then when the time came that one percenter MCs controlled 99 percenter blessings, it wasn't always that way, then cops found it harder, if not impossible, to get into 99 percenter clubs. But not because it wasn't a traditional thing to do, but because the politics changed. And to this day, there are a lot of traditional MCs with cops in them that simply aren't advertising that kind of information, but it is what it is. So uh, as to what I think about them, I, I, I think that anybody that's riding a motorcycle in a motorcycle club that they love is someplace that they need to be. But uh, I will tell you that I have done a lot of, uh, I've done a few articles on uh, LEMCs. And one LEMC that I got to hang out with in particular was the Blue Knights Motorcycle Club. And the Blue Knights Motorcycle Club was a, a very interesting law enforcement MC, uh, LEMC, that has over 16,000 members uh, around the world. So it is perhaps one of the largest motorcycle clubs uh, in the world. And having hung out with them and learned things about them, I was, uh, I, I went to their convention this summer. I, I happened to be uh, in a park, uh, a Stone Mountain Park, where they happened to be holding their international convention. They had thousands of members there. And of those thousands of members there, there was not one other patch except uh, mine. I had the only patch that wasn't Blue Knights MC. And they were all cops and uh, correctional officers and sheriffs and retired cops and, and uh, some military folks. I think their rules only allow 5% of their number to not be actual law enforcement or former law enforcement. But they were all together. And in that time, they made me feel really, really good. They They welcomed me. I got to speak with the international president and I got to uh, interview him and so many people over there, and I'm not going to lie, I had a great time. It was wonderful. I was treated with the utmost of respect. So that experience uh, with them is, I, you know, I can't just turn around and be like, uh, they were such horrible guys. They weren't. We had a great time. Uh, they had a family so big that they could hang out with just themselves 
and and really not need any anybody else, any other kind of club to hang out with, which is really kind of the way that uh, cops are anyway. They're kind of off to themselves uh, doing their thing. Uh, they were hanging around in a brotherhood with folks that were just like them and could understand their stories and where they were coming from. So an LEMC may be good for a person like you that was a military cop for all that long and you're going into a correctional um, uh, job as a correctional officer. This this might be the thing for you. So uh, with that in mind, here are some of the top five things I think you should know when looking into joining a law enforcement motorcycle club, also known as LM LEMC. So number one, they don't get blessings from dominant motorcycle clubs or one percenters or coalitions. What would that look like? A cop asking an outlaw if he could have permission to ride his motorcycle in peace. Probably pretty laughable. Because they don't go that route, a lot of people will talk noise about them and say they're not traditional MCs. But one thing is for certain, no one is stopping them from riding. And no one dares. Two, they wear state rockers and no one tells them they cannot. Three, many LEMCs have women members who are respected equally as the men. Four, LEMCs like the Blue Knights MC are 45 years old and enjoy membership worldwide. In fact, with over 16,000 members and hundreds of chapters internationally, they may be one of the biggest motorcycle clubs in the world. Five, uh, they do have a bad reputation, or do they, rather, do they have a bad reputation in the MC world? Well, that's hard to say because they really don't mix with the biker community. Not so, uh, not much is really known about them. They stay to themselves and they have uh, so many members that they don't need the set's approval or acceptance to have a huge MC family. This isn't uh, unusual as cops to only keep to themselves, like I said before. And people in clubs may talk a lot of noise about them, but when they roll up on two or in their packs, no one disrespects them. After all, they have the power of those badges to back them up just in case someone wants to start some, you know, S-H-I-T. And they are members of the largest gang in the world, and that would be the gang known as cops. Now, you may have heard of MCs with bad reputations, like the Iron Order, that are commonly referred to negatively as a cop club or an LEMC, but the Iron Order does not ever bill itself as an LEMC. Their name is not Iron Order LEMC. That terminology is put on them by others, not by themselves. A true LEMC will have LEMC in its title, like Blue Knights LEMC or Punisher's LEMC. And here's the bonus thing you should know. This is for folks who stuck around to the end. The bonus thing you should know about LEMCs to this day They've never been featured in any news stories I've seen, running drugs, selling guns, shooting up malls, or any other such nonsense. So even though they may have a bad re reputation among the biker set, if they do, they certainly don't have an image crisis going on with uh, the public or with the mainstream media. So I hope that uh, helps you with your research. The top five things you should know about LEMCs if you are thinking about joining one. Well, look here. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Uh, also, we want to add, uh, you may know it's becoming increasingly difficult to monetize motorcycle club content. So if you like the content on this channel, please consider contributing a monthly donation to our Patreon page at Black Dragon National President or to our cash app at dollar sign Biker Prez. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also hit the like button and share this video. You can check out many other of our top five in this new segment by clicking on our top five for MCs list or clicking on one of the videos above. That's my two cents. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny.